Hi everybody, so today I'll be bringing you three advanced example solves. I pulled these scrambles for from times when I was just doing sighted solves and was just trying to come up with cool solutions. And uh, so these are three really cool solutions I think I found and I'll be showing them to you today. So if we're just going to start out with the first one right away. Um, so for every scramble I'll be telling you like first thoughts and then what I did. So the first thoughts of the scramble is like this is solved, this is flipped, and this is solved. So that's seems like a good scramble and if we have parity we may have to avoid doing this swap uf ufr because this or uf ur because this is already solved but i'll just head right into the corner memo so we're going from here to here to here and then that's a buffer so we can float to ufl i prefer ufl over uvr just because it's got some better parity setups um although i think uvr would be better for the scramble Anyway, we'll be doing from here to here to here, and then floating here to here to here, which is a good com, but not as good as the UBR one, but forget it. Um, and then from here, we'll be going just to this, which will be our parity target. Then for you, uh, FL parity, swapping these two is probably the best, so you have fuel. Um, so going to edges, we'll keep in mind that we have this swap here to here to here, and then here to here, and then here. What I would normally do in a solve is just break here, 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 break into the flip. So I'll go here and then here to here. But if I want it to be really fancy and theoretical, this is kind of the case. Uh, wait, I could we could do a two e two e, which is so kind of just once we reach this point, say oh well that's our pseudo buffer, leave that there float UL and hope we get a good, like being able to set up to a tui tui. So I kind of did that here because I was just messing around with sighted solves. So we're going to be, so once we reach here, we float UL, we go here to here and then break into the flip here to here. And we just have this left, which will leave us with this tui tui, which conveniently we could set up something like this, which is easy like this. Learn that from Jake Clausen. Where is this cue? <laughs> so for a 2e2e -E -E like this, we could probably set it up like this. And then, right, so I think we have the rest of the solution. I'll get right into it. What I'd probably do is go, since we have some 2e2e -E -E stuff, I wouldn't do the floating right away. I'd wait until the end. So we got the standard nine mover. Then that. And we leave this here, remember, float here, so it's just a U prime setup to the UF, UF alg, and over here to here to here, which I would probably just do like this. And then we have our 2e2e, two -E, which I showed before, which will be this setup here. Okay, good. So let's head over to corners. Pretty sure that's standard alg. For this UF alg, I do. D prime, uh, du prime into this easy thing. And then we have this parity, which can be done like this parity, except we just don't do the u prime. Uh, we don't do the u, so that's kind of easy, right? And it's solved. So that was we saved quite a few logs on this one. First, go on to the next scramble. Scramble description. First thoughts: these are swapped, which isn't great. Um. And nothing really else looking interesting, but there is some quite interesting stuff happening afterwards. So here to here, I could leave that swapped and try to do stuff after, but I'm not great with that already. So we could just break into something really easy, which would be down here, which is just the uh, eight mover. Hey guys, it's me post video, and I just want to say I noticed that we could have done something with this actually. So these two are swapped, these two are swapped. We could have done just our best to triple left sexy and save them all, but what can we do? And then here to here, and then over here to here, back to here, and since I realize these two are swapped, that means UFR is solved, and we can just set up the floating parity case, which I don't think would be that hard. We could just swap UF, UL again, and for that case, something like just setting up to the UFR case would be easy. I mean, you could do D2, R2, but I think Something like that would be faster. So set up to that. Um, for 
edges here to here to here, and that's our pseudo buffer, so we'll leave that there and float UV here to here, which is our buffer again. But since we can't, like, it's hard to do 2v2v two -two with the weird stuff in the back, like, I'll just break that right there from there to there to there, and then from there, and that's our that has to go to UL, and that's done. We still have a handful of pieces left, so I'll float DF and then here to here. That completes our cycle, and let's get started with the solve then. So first UFCOM, really easy A mover, then here to here to here, UB. Um, I could probably do something like this, where it's like I do it with uh, Y moves to have a better transition into something like this. That would make sense. And then over here, we go there to there to there, which is like pretty intuitive. Probably end it off like this, and then over here to here to here. Nine mover with M2. Um, I kind of, I would have done that in a different order in the solve. I would have probably done this first. I would have done that visually with memo, and then go into the UB, uh, UF comms, and then the UB comms. But whatever. So over to corners, here to here to here. Standard eight mover, here to here to here. I do this setup. Then here to here, very good calm. And then we have our floating parity case that I explained earlier, and that's done. So, next solve. Well, I noticed right away these two are swapped, and that's a good parity case. If we have parity, nothing really else interesting. Um, so, here, we can't really do anything with this twisted thing, so I'll just shoot it down to here because it's the only U face sticker that. Um, isn't parody, whatever. So here to here to here, good calm. Over here to here, and over here back to here. And then that will complete our cycle and we'll just have to swap these two. So for these, I have re I made up my own good alg before going to the solve, which is kind of just L prime F or L F to the Lucas J prime. It's pretty fast. I mean, you could swap these and do like old Pokemon, but whatever. I find that Lucas Japer thing is better, so we'll go here. This has to go there to UB, uh, to BU because we're doing that swap. So, and then oh, well, here to there, there, here to here. That's our buffer, right? Because we're we're not swapping over here. We're swapping back here. So that's our buffer. Float to UR. I prefer UR over DF because it's just on the U face and I find it's a bit faster. So here to here to here, then here to here, and then here over here. And that completes everything because these two are gonna be swapped. So this is kind of our UR buffer. So we're getting to the solve. We'll go here to here to here. Good, here to here to here. And like I explained before, sometimes better do with wide moves because you'll be going into a righty comm afterwards anyway, so I would probably do that with wide moves, right? Well, I mean, R, R prime S2, R, and whatever this is, it's the same thing. Then for the UR comm, you set up this. Then next UR comm, kind of like, for, I don't know, some people for this, they do, or I do this, or it's just U prime setup, except this time you don't do the U prime setup. Interesting. Then here to here to here, really easy. L to the five mover, done. Now we're gonna be doing this comm. Next one here to here to here, which is not the greatest one, but I just do that. Then last one, we already have our hand down here. So D prime to there. And then we have this case, which I explained earlier. Boom, done. So hope you guys enjoyed. Disclaimer, I wouldn't do all of this in a solve. I probably wouldn't do that weird 2e2e -E -E showed, but a lot of the floating, um, like UBUR, I'm able to do, and like DS stuff, that's no problem. Um, I'm usually able to come up with creative solutions, just probably not that 2e2e 2 -E -2 -E showed. That's more of a th theoretical thing I would have done. But thanks for watching. Hope this helped. Bye.